Hello, it's the Intrepid Wino, aka James Guestbrook here with another Let's Taste. Uh, I've had a, a really lovely day down at the Mornington Peninsula, uh, visiting a couple of wineries, uh, bought myself some Main Ridge Estate, which is awesome, um, and visited Muraduck Estate, as well as a couple of other wineries. Had a fantastic day, and um, thought I'd open something up for dinner tonight, something from the, the cellar, the Intrepid Cellar, uh, and it is a, an old Riesling, Funnily enough, nothing, not really anything to do with the, uh, the Mornington Peninsula. Uh, it is the Seppelt Drumborg Riesling 1998. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Drumborg Ries uh, Vineyard is in um, a part of Victoria called Henty. Um, it's right over in the, the western part, the southwestern part of Victoria. And um, it actually is possibly one of the most underrated regions in Victoria for Riesling in particular. Uh, but you can also find some fantastic Chardonnay there as well. But um, the Seppelt, which is actually based in um, the Grampians, not far from uh, Great Western, uh, where Best's Winery is, for example, uh, they have some vineyards over in that Henty region. And the Drumborg Vineyard has had quite a pedigree for Riesling wine, and um, and it still is possibly one of the most undervalued wines in, in Australian wine. And so um, I like the idea of aging Riesling, particularly uh, Australian Riesling, um, because they are so, in my opinion, inexpensive. You can find some really fantastic bargains in, in terms of Riesling. Um, they are great to buy on the cheap, uh, in my opinion, and then put them down. Um, I think I'm, I think I bought this one on um, possibly Langton's uh, seven years ago, and I bought a, a few, and this is my last one, so uh, I'm keen to see how it goes. Um, Riesling, particularly Riesling under cork, has a uh, propensity to um, be really beautiful and fresh and vibrant, aromatic in its youth, and um, and then kind of go into a, a sort of a down period where it sort of dulls. And my perception is that it kind of goes into a, a place where it protects itself. And then you have to wait for a good 10 to 15 years before it starts to come good again. So 1998, we are in 2015. So this is a 17-year-old um, cook. Still looks good. Uh, a lot of the reasons now, I think for at least the last 10 to uh, 10 to 15 years have been under screw cap, but uh, probably one of the last ones under cork. Let's give it a smell. Still good colour. Um, it is kind of getting a, a slightly golden hue. Um, you can, it, it's really kind of jumping out of the glass. It's quite 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 oily it's it smells quite oily it's got a kind of a caramelized character almost like caramelized peaches caramelized caramelized kumquat it definitely has that old riesling aromatic the oiliness is not like uh, certain Australian Rieslings with age. Uh, it's definitely not like in that kerosene kind of realm. You tend to see that a lot more, in my opinion, in South Australian, particularly Clare Valley Rieslings. But it definitely has that, oil, that oiliness to it. The oil has come through in terms of the texture. It's not really rich, it's not cloying, but you see that caramel kind of coming through a little bit in the flavors. Um, really quite ripe, uh, stone fruit characters, peach, um, apricot, certainly. Um, it's it's quite, quite delicate. It does have a, an oxidative element to it, but it really is a, a, a fairly classic example of what aged Riesling can look like. It 
ten, it's more complex. It's a little bit broader on the palate. You see it more on the back of the palate as well. It's quite delicious. And I have no doubt it's very, very different to how it would have been in its youth. So there you go. Um, we've just tasted the Seppelt's Drumburg Vineyard Riesling 1998 from the cellar. Um, fantastically, it is, uh, the, the, the wine is still great and the cork was sound. Um, it probably wasn't going to last for much longer than that, I don't think. Um, it probably wasn't going to get any better. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, this video, guys. If you did, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, make sure that you are going to differentdrop.com and putting in the special code uh, VINCASTAVINO for your first purchase of $100 to get $25 off. Um, be sure you are tuned to the live streaming Let's Taste uh, on Monday evening, 27th of July at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time where myself and James Dawson will be tasting six Australian Grenache wines uh, live and so you can, uh, can like ask comments, uh, ask questions and make comments. Um, yeah, thanks very much guys and uh, cheers.